All right, let's talk about measuring indirectly. For instance, we've got a river here, notice my little fishies, and it's surrounded by woods. And if we wanted to measure across that river indirectly, we can use, um, we can use congruent triangles to do so. All right, so what we'll do is we'll put a stake down at N, and then we'll go straight down the edge of that river and put you a stake at K. The thing is we need that in K, like a, a, some kind of rope or something, to be perpendicular to NP. So I'm gonna mark that as in perpendicular, okay? Now, just use the tape measure here. Find the middle of NK and go back and put another stake here. And since it'll be the middle, it'd be a midpoint, that means that this piece and this piece would be the same size, all right? Now we are going to go down to K and we're gonna walk straight across so that we've got this to be perpendicular and stop when we come into line with the M and the P. Just a stake there, a stake there. When you're in a straight line with those, you'll stop and place another stake, okay? If I measure, well, let's see, hold on. If I want it to be perpendicular, Okay, so I've got an angle and a side, and notice that I've got two lines formed here, and um, that means the vertical angles are gonna be congruent. So by angle, side, angle, you can't use hypotenuse leg uh, because the hypotenuses we don't know, but by the angle, side, angle theorem, these triangles are congruent. That means NP is gonna be the same size as LK. So go back and measure LK, and whatever LK is will be the distance from N to P uh, across your river.